what it do is your boy MTV King is back on the screen. First of all, I want to say I hope y'all like my new intro. I switched it up. It's a song that I made for my fiance about 11 months ago. And I had already dropped it on my page. So I hope y'all like it. And second of all, I'm making this video due to the fact that it has to do a lot with um, teenagers, people in general committing suicide. I'm going to tell you one reason why you shouldn't commit suicide. And I want you to know you ain't never got to be scared. Cause I'ma walk with you through whatever That's the reason why I got on one knee And I asked you to marry me Cause you're my everything I wanna be with you to death do us part Girl, remember you're always gonna have my heart I will never get on my knee for anyone else Only if it is to tie our daughter's shoe Cause girl, I'm so crazy about you and I want you to know that I love you unconditionally. No matter what, you're always here in my heart. You're always gonna be here to stay to death to us part. So never listen to what anyone else has to say. Cause you're my everything. I give you a rose to let you know that I love you. Like... On beauty and the beast when the pellets fall Girl, I'ma stand like the beast, I'm gonna stand strong Cause you're my motivation to every day When I look at your The wrong, one reason you should not commit suicide Because God didn't give us our life to take it away It's not even our life, he just let us borrow it Second of all There's millions children, adults, young adults fighting for their life to live, that are fighting cancers, that are fighting bronchitis, any deadly disease that could kill you. And it sucks and it hurts. It hurts me especially when people come to me and tell me that they want to commit suicide. Especially when it's over the smallest thing that it's not even worth you taking your life, like honestly. At the end of the day, even if they're getting bullied, just know, don't listen to what others say. That just shows that you don't love yourself enough to be like, you know what, this my world, you just live in it now. You don't have to sit there and commit suicide because somebody's bullying you, somebody's making fun of you. Because at the end of the day, they're making fun of you for a reason because obviously they're going through something and that's the only way they take it out. You're hearing it from me. I've been bullied my entire life since I was in school. To this day, I still get bullied. People make fun of me because of my height. Because I'm real freaking short. I might look tall in videos, but I'm not tall. I'm short. My fiance is literally taller than me by like maybe, I believe, like three inches. She's taller than me. But at the end of the day, when somebody really loves you and cares about you, they're not with you for the height. They're with you because of the inside, not what's on the outside. And honestly, I appreciate that from her because she's actually like the first, she's the first person that I date. She's the first girl that actually loves me and doesn't care about my height. And that means a lot to me. Um, and when you're thinking suicide, or when you're there cutting yourself, just think about Everybody that's out here fighting for their life. Is it fair? 
that they got to go through that while you're really going through nothing but you're really trying to take your life. Think about it that way. At the end of the day, we all have a purpose on this earth. My purpose could be making YouTube videos. Who knows, you know? To this day, I don't know. I've been I've been in the music game for so long now. I do my own music because it's something that I love to do. It's my hobby. I enjoy it. I don't do it for money. I don't do it for any of that. I do it because it's something I love to do. It's in my blood, something that I just love. We all have our special talent. Some of us have it in sports. Some of us have it in the kitchen. Some of us have it in cutting hair. Some of us have it in, you know, whether journalism, whatever it may be. And you just got to find it, though. It's not just, you're not going to find your what you like to do overnight. Most of us are just born with it. Like, honestly, me, I cut my own hair. I just cut it today. I had to learn how to do it. It wasn't just brought overnight. The first time I cut my hair, I actually fucked up, so I had to go bald. That was three years ago um, when I started learning how to cut my hair. Because I'm the type that I have to have get a haircut every three days. So I was like, you know what? Spending 17 to $20 at a damn barbershop, I might as well learn how to cut my own damn hair. So I started learning how to cut my own hair. And ever since then, I've just been doing it. The first time, the second time, I kind of screwed up. You just got to get better at it, though. If you want something, you're going to get better at it. Just like I love cooking. I love cooking. I know how to cook. I know how to clean. I know how to wash my laundry. I definitely know how to keep a car clean. <laughs> like, real facts. Um, when I was younger, I had a car. And it really wasn't even, like, working. But I was still cleaning it. Every three days, I was out there fucking scrubbing it, cleaning it, vacuuming it. And it wouldn't run over, but I was just keeping it clean. So that's just me. I was like, it's mine, so I'm going to keep it till I finally sold it. Um, but you know what I'm saying? Like, there ain't no need for you to commit suicide. When you feel like your world's coming down, just push all the bullshit to the side and be like, you know what, I'm better than that. One thing is people don't want to see you happy. When they see you happy, they will do anything to make your life miserable. To make you feel like you're in the wrong. In reality, and you're not in the wrong. There's a lot of people getting bullied for being gay, being bisexual, being homophobic, whatever it may be. At the end of the day, though, it's your life. You live how the way makes what makes you happy. If people can't respect you, or respect your wishes or your decisions. Sometimes you just gotta cut them off. And move on. Because at the end of the day. There's always going to be people that are going to talk down. Like oh you're not this. Oh you're not that. At the end of the day. You gotta keep yourself happy. And just keep God in your heart first. You gotta put God before everything. You can't put your mother before God. You, you can't put your children before God. You gotta put God before everything. Because he's the one that has the power. Like I tell y'all straight up. I put God. I put my wife. My mother. My father. The rest. Everything after that. Because at the end of the day. It's my world. They're just living in it. And you see. I'm the type that. I. The relationship I have with my mother now, it's not something that I had all my life, like a lot of people think. Like, me and my mom became really, really, really close. Like, my mom's always been there for me, don't get me wrong. She's always been there for me, she was the one always there for me in the hospitals all that. But I have an older sister, so it was always my mom and my older sister. And I was like the loner boner. <laughs> you know, I had all the attention on my dad's, but then... My brothers came along, and, you know what I'm saying, I was like, I just felt like, I didn't feel 
I didn't feel love. I didn't feel wanted. I don't know what it was. You know, I was young. I felt like all I had was friends. So I got older and realized that friends weren't my friends. All they did was use me uh, when they needed me. Because now that I need them more, yeah. That's the reason why I don't believe in the word friends. When I was fucking dying in the hospital bed, who was there? Nobody was there but my mom. This time around, it's about to be one year since I had a big old surgery. Who was there for me? My mom, my brother, my daughter, and my wife. And it just shows, like, who really cares, who really loves you. My dad was going to be there, but he, my dad couldn't be there because he had um he had a cord in him because my dad has cancer. Well, he's cancer-free now, but my dad had got a surgery uh, from cancer in 2016. And so my dad couldn't be in there because the back, uh, it was like bad for him, the bacteria and stuff. Like, he couldn't really be in there. My brothers, they didn't get to make it because they were working, but they called me. And the next day when I got out, though, they would come up here and just check on me, whether I was like just laying down or I would see them open the door and check on me. <laughs> and I appreciate that because at the end of the day, that's why I'm a loner. That's why I don't really speak on anybody's names. Like, oh, I have this friend, I have that friend. Like, no, it's either if I'm real cool with you you're not a friend, you're family to me because it's like everybody at work, I grew a bond with them already. And to me, I don't see them as coworkers. I don't see them really as my bosses. I see them as family. We're one big ass family. And it's that's just something that means a lot, you know? But like I'm saying, if you don't have family, just know you have God. Or just know you have somebody out there that actually cares about you. I'm not going to say, you know, just because I don't believe in friends. You don't got to believe in friends. I just don't believe in them because like I said, when all this crazy shit was happening to me, I didn't see nobody there. I didn't see nobody calling me up. Hey. How are you feeling? I didn't see nobody at my door. Or, get well soon. Here's a balloon. Or fucking something, you know? So at the end of the day, just know you're not alone. And if you feel like you're alone, just talk to God. He got all the answers for you. There's times when I'm down and I'm feeling like I got the blues. But I talk to him. And the next day, he shows me my answer. And it's unbelievable, but you got to believe in him for him to give you an answer. Like, I'm in a relationship. You know, I I love the fuck out of my fiance. No matter what little fucking obstacle we go through. And at the end of the day, it's not, I'm going to give up on her. I'm not going to give up on us. Because at the end of the day, this is the person I love. The person I want to spend the rest of my life with. Like, you have to understand, nobody's perfect and no relationship is perfect. And life is not about being perfect. You're going to stumble, you're going to fall, you're going to make mistakes, but you got to get back and become stronger. Because if you don't become stronger, you're going to become weak. You're going to become weak. You're going to be doing something that it's not called for. So at the end of the day, Find something to be your motivation, even if it's yourself. My motivation to life is my wife, my daughter, my siblings, my mom, my brother, my father, my sister, nephew, nieces. That's like, you know. So at the end of the day, we got to think about who's really going to be hurt the day we go. And to all the mothers out there and fathers, Please, I'm asking y'all, please, be more involved in your kids' lives. Every day when they come home from school, 
ask them how was their day. Shit. Before they go to school, tell them you love them. Because you never know. Imagine all these massive shootings that went on last year. Imagine how their mothers and fathers felt. Knowing that they didn't get to see their baby for the one last time. And probably told them I love you for that last time. The cr crazy world society we live in nowadays. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. To this day, I'm 29 years old and my mom still tells me I love you. Have a good day at work. Because... I could be at work, but who knows what could happen. The crazy world we live in today. And it's just crazy, you know. But we got to stand together and make it a better place. We got to spread positivity. We got to spread that love. And like I said, you know, if y'all have problems, Y'all ain't got nobody to talk to. Comment below. I really wouldn't say DM me or message me. Because usually a lot of y'all get a little carried away and y'all start just going off all the subject and going off to something else. And like I say, I have respect for my fiance. And to me, that's my wife already. And I, there's no way I want to disrespect her because I wouldn't like it if some other dude slide in her fucking DMs. Because I'd be going off on a nigga. And, and that's not racist, so don't think I'm being racist. <laughs> I'm just used to saying my nigga because I have, um, to me, he's my brother. And shout out to my bro, Q. He's my, actually, he's my brother's, my, my brother's best friend, but he literally grew up with us. We know him since they were, I believe, in third grade. Stuck with us through now, and he's family. He calls my mom, mom. He calls my dad, dad. And, you know, he's African-American, so that's just how we're used to talking. So that's why you'll hear me on it. Oh, so my nigga, like, but it's nothing racist, like, and I ain't got, I ain't got nothing racist on anybody. Shit's at the end of the day in my family. Everything runs in my family from Indian to Indian, white, Mexican, Chinese. You just fucking name it. <laughs> it just runs in my family, you know. From great-grandparents to my other great-grandparents and stuff. So Don't nobody get offended, you know what I'm saying. I got love for everybody. Y'all got love for me. I got love for y'all. Um, And I'm really sorry. If y'all be commenting in Spanish, but I'm Mexican, but my ass does not know how to read Spanish. I know how to talk in Spanish, but I do not, I repeat, I do not know how to read. The only thing I know how to read in Spanish is if you're telling me te amo, te quiero, te extraño. But yeah. Okay, lo que estoy diciendo es que yo sí hablo español. Pero yo no lo entiendo si me dejas un mensaje o algo así. Yo no entiendo. Yo no sé cómo leer en español. Sí sé cómo hablar en español, pero no sé cómo leerlo. O so, cuando me ponen un comentario y si no comento para atrás es que no sé lo que estás diciendo. So, ay, discúlpenme, pero es la pura, la pura verdad. Like, honest, the honest truth. I don't, I just said what I just told y'all in English, like, I literally, like, you know, they could forgive me, because I'd be happy if people write to me in Spanish, and I'm just like, fuck, like, what the fuck, my dad knows how to um, read Spanish, but my ass doesn't, <laughs> I didn't take Spanish classes, I took sign language classes, but, uh, yeah, so, anyways, but, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, though, and I just want y'all to know, though, if you don't feel love, just know you're going to see God's much love for you. And remember, don't take it light. Just think about everybody out here fighting to live. I appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. It means the world to me. And I hope y'all like my new intro. Hope y'all like my song. And yeah, it's just like about an hour I mean, an hour. I'm tripping like a mother. It's about a minute and like 18 seconds or 8 seconds, I believe, long. The reason I did kind of long so y'all could get an idea of my music. That's why I put my song. But anyways, much love. 
Love the one and only your boy in TV. Have a good night. God bless. I'm out. Chill.